Hi there, Thak here, how are you doing? Uh, today we are making a masquerade mask like this out of brass. So here's my cardboard template. Without further ado, let's begin. So I'll put this on my piece of brass, 20 gauge I believe is what I've got here. And just take the Sharpie and trace this out. There we go, off to the Beverly Shear. I'm using a cold chisel to cut out the eyes. I usually stay back from the line a little bit and then file to shape after the fact. Okay, so I've gone over both sides now. Before you actually cut through, you wanna do, there's two different techniques I use. I'll go to a block that I don't mind um, getting the surface scarred up and just punch through that way. The other method that I do is putting it over a hardy hole and coming in with a cross pin. And brass is fairly stiff or brittle and it will allow you to kind of punch that out fairly easily. And the, this one where I went in with a chisel and I went good and deep, this one should pop out easier. So it's usually a combination of the two processes, processes to get to this point here. I've got quite a bit of cleanup to do and I'm, there's no other really good way to do that but with the old fashioned file. So head over to the vise and see if I can scrounge up a half round file and clean these up. Okay, so I've filed out the eyes and I've also softened the edges so they're user friendly. Now what I need to do is heat this up and anneal it, soften it up so that I can do all the shaping I need to. So very carefully get it up to color, meaning an orange sheet. But brass will disintegrate very quickly, so I've got to be very vigilant about making sure it doesn't get too hot. And I quench it in the water, and that is what anneals non-ferrous metal. So now it is nice and soft and ready to shape. After you have fully dried it off, so the Sharpie will stick to it. What you want to do is establish your center line, fold your template in half, and place it on, and drop the center line on each side. And we're ready to go. So let's begin, start with the nose. And I'm gonna grab a hammer here that's got a fairly dull cross peen to it. And I just want to start dropping that nose down I want to continue dropping the nose and working from a stake on the outside. We've got the nose starting to shape out there. Hi. But what I need to do is drop it back in here and get the brow. So I need to have that little cavity in there. So I'm going to look for a stake. Okay, so I've got this style of valley stake here. So I'm able to work into there. This allows me to do a compound curve. So drop that in, that distorts everything of course, then you have to go back to the other side. That is starting to create the shape there pretty good. Now I need to bring the cheeks down and I'm just going to actually bend them. So you can see we've got a rough approximation of the shape now. So what I need to do is start forming things in much nicer. I get to swap out my steak. I think I'm gonna try this one here. I know what you're thinking. Ballsy move, Thack. Okay, so you can see I've kind of formed the cheek there, dropped in where the eye is there, and bringing out the side of the skull there. So again, I'm just roughly getting these landmarks in place. They're gonna to have to do a lot of adjusting to actually get everything to sit in there. But you can see, compared to that, that things are coming along. So now I gotta match out this side. Okay, coming along. 
So juvenile humor aside, this steak is a very useful shape. The way these two bulges come into the center there just allows for a lot of um, compound curves. And it just I just find it a very all-round useful shape for getting into a lot of tough to get areas. So when using yourself as a model, which I am in this particular case, even though this is not going to be for me, I've got the, my face is average enough in shape to, to do what I need to do here. It's handy to use yourself as a model, but it also runs into a couple problems um, in trying to fit things. But in this particular case, I can just do it by feeling, I can see that the cheeks here have quite a bit that they need to come down yet to shape in there. Nose wise, it's sitting on my nose and into my brow. I can feel it. This whole area in here seems to be about the right shape, but the cheeks here need to be dropped back. So I'm gonna get back on the stakes and see if I can do some more shaping there. All right, I am pleased with what the shape is. I just want to antique this now. So I'm going to use some black patina, which you use for stained glass. And I'm just going to spray that on. Let it brown up for a moment. And then I'm just going to put it in a slack tub and neutralize it. Dry that off. And I will grab a piece of steel wool. I got some super fine here, and I'm just going to buff out some highlights and make this all very sexy. I actually like to do the steel wooling while it's still wet. It just helps diffuse the surface, let, leaves it a little less scratchy looking. I just like the way the effect turns out. So something like that, dry that off now. What I like about the black patina is it pulls out some of the copper hues, so you get kind of those pinky oranges as well as the yellow there. Let's try that on now, and I'm all ready for the masquerade. Okay, I was told by my video guy to uh, give a shout out to Mark Benoit. Benoit, I'm not sure how I pronounce your name, sorry man. Anyway, uh, you did some skulls um, in follow up of my skull making video, and we've got them posted on our Facebook page. So that is the kind of audience participation that we are trying to encourage. So please, if you're watching my videos and you're making stuff, please submit it on the Facebook page. I don't know how that is done. That's beyond my technical abilities, but uh, you'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks for coming. Uh, join us next time. We'll be making more cool stuff. Thack out. See ya. To Mark Benoit, Ben Wall. Uh, just move your lips and then do like a voiceover later. <laughs> okay, so I want to give a shout out to Mark Benoit. <laughs> I just can't. Let's try that one more time.